Bitcoin completing its halving on a Friday. Now, the process that happens every four years. Take a look at the price of Bitcoin and some of the reaction that we're seeing play out this morning. We're actually seeing prices move further to the upside, now above 66000 Now, one of the big questions, though, that remains is the effect it's going to have on the business for Bitcoin miners themselves and that pressure that that could look like here for revenue, at least in the short term. We want to bring in Michael Shalov. He is a CEO of Fireblocks. Michael, it's good to have you here. So talk to us just about the price action that we've seen in Bitcoin miners, because they're actually holding up better than many had feared as a result here of this halving. So what's going on? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, basically, what we're currently seeing is that the activity of the Bitcoin network just continues. Uh, what we're hearing, so we're basically servicing uh, some of the Bitcoin miners from a custody technology standpoint. And what we're hearing from them is that they continue to invest. They actually think that they will go, they are going to be compensated on the um, having the fact that they're now getting half of the price. And um, uh, I don't think uh, we, are, we are going to see uh, the market sort of dropping, um, at least like, you know, this is not what they're expecting. What is the expectation for the prices that Bitcoin miners are, are expecting to have to factor in to their expense base now? Yeah, so just to maybe uh, take half a step back, basically the way that Bitcoin miners getting their rewards, it, there are two parts to it. The first part is that they need to solve a puzzle which basically secures the Bitcoin network. And the second part is basically the fees that, of the people that are doing the Bitcoin transactions, what they're willing to pay. So after the having basically the first part of uh, getting rewards uh, for uh, solving the puzzle, that's, that was dropped by half. And therefore, what they anticipate is that the Bitcoin prices will continue to rise, so they will be able to continue and buy the energy that they need to operate the network. Michael, when you take into account some of the things or some of the changes that crypto miners are undergoing right now, I've been seeing more and more headlines talking about the shift to AI and how they are employing AI to offset some of that increased cost. Can you talk to us a little bit more about what that opportunity looks like and and I guess the benefit that this will ultimately be here for some of those miners in the longer term. Yeah, I think that there is a narrative of using the same compute that is being used to uh, operate the, the mining. So for example, some of the NVIDIA cards and uh, allocate some of that to AI work, workloads. But right now with the prices that we see in terms of Bitcoin, this is still uh, quite profitable for the miners. So um, it's not clear that if, if, if uh, that shift to AI is something that is actually a hedge, assuming that uh, the Bitcoin activity will become less profitable. It's definitely not something that we're seeing right now. Uh, Michael, there's there's a new protocol here as well that's that's come along with this most recent having. And I think we're trying to kind of wrap our heads around exactly what that means going forward from here, especially for a lot of the potential Bitcoin investors called runes, I believe it is. And so, I mean, does that change how people should be thinking about Bitcoin, about the problem solving equation and, and the mining process at all? Uh, or is this just something that was to be expected coming along with this having? Yeah, so, so as part of what we were seeing in the last year uh, with Bitcoin, we started to see NFTs, basically non-fungible tokens, something that we've seen in the previous cycle. And that activity has sort of started to become a somewhat popular on Bitcoin. That actually creates a lot of activity um, on the Bitcoin network, where essentially people need to pay fees right, to operate that protocol. And therefore, the miners are able to gain or basically get some of the offset from the having from uh, that new activity. Michael, what do you see as the biggest near term drivers of the crypto price action? Yeah, I think that what we are about to see is that um, with the Bitcoin ETF <laughs> coming in and some of the regulatory clarity that we are starting to see on the global uh, scale, we'll probably starting, we'll start seeing more and more players that are able to offer access to a bigger investor base. So essentially both retail and professional and institutional investors. And that will probably, will, will, what would start driving the prices up uh, both for Bitcoin and other cryptos. Um, for other cryptos, especially for protocols like Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, and so on, we're actually seeing real utility in terms of payments, uh, Web3, royalties, and things like that, that uh, increasing the adoption. And therefore, those are much more mainstream activities that are going to uh, drive the prices of, of some of those protocols.